Hello, and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg, and today Jake and I are going to make some whorehound and marshmallow cough drops. We've heated our sugar in the pot to 310 degrees and already added the whorehound flavoring, but we've not added the marshmallow, and if you'll notice, it's brown. Whorehound itself is not a brown solution, but it is a brown traditional candy, and we achieve the brown by using caramel. Now, caramel is a food coloring, but it doesn't use any artificial materials. It's just burnt sugar that becomes that color. So we can add a color without adding any artificial food coloring. We thought it would be neat to make these traditional cough drops using no artificial food coloring. Now that our sugar solution is sat on the table for a while and cooled down, this is our candy cooling table made in the late 1800s, we're adding marshmallow root. Yeah, marshmallow root. Marshmallow root is actually a root. It's a plant that grows in France. It is a wonderful product, and it's a mucilage. In other words, it's a thickener that sort of coats things. In the case of the candy marshmallows, when they used to make it back in the 1800s, they'd mix powdered marshmallow root or fresh marshmallow syrup. They'd mix it with egg white, and it would create a suspension that would hold a foam, and that soft foam was the marshmallow. They learned later that gelatin made a better marshmallow, and that's how they make it today. But the name stuck to the candy. But in this case, we're using the original root, and we're using it because it'll coat the throat with its mucilage, and it will cut down on irritation. And this is what they did in the 1800s, and this dated back to ancient Egypt for its use, actually. It's just a cooking ingredient. As I mentioned in the last videos, these were originally called cough candies. They weren't called cough drops until some companies decided to market them like a medicine, but they're still a candy. And we shouldn't forget that true cough drops are just so delicious. The quote from the book, The Princess Bride, not the movie, reminds me of that. True love is the best thing in the world, except for cough drops. Marshmallow and whorehound have been combined over the past couple of centuries for cough suppression, either in the form of cough syrup or in our case, cough drops. This is because both materials have a beneficial effect, or so they say. Whorehound is in the mint family, although it doesn't taste minty. But it has these little white hairs that you can see on the new growth of the leaves. And this is how it gets the name. Hoar means old or bearded. And this is the same reason hoarfrost is called hoarfrost, for its little whiskers that come out. Now it's time to make it into the drops themselves. And for this, we use a little press. The press was made in 1871 by a company called Thomas Mills in Philadelphia. The rollers, once again, are from a candy store called Moulin's in Cincinnati. And Moulin's was a candy store that opened in 1848 and seems to have closed in 1988. They made hard candies during this period, and we ended up with much of their hard candy making equipment. And this equipment included a pair of rollers that said Moulin on one side of it and said cough on the other. And we thought, what would be more perfect for a Victorian cough drop than to actually use a machine from the Victorian era that was intended for making cough drops. And now we have a favor to ask for you. We're up for the best of Tallahassee Awards, and we think we're the best, and we'd like you to vote for us. There's a link in the description that you can click on that'll take you to where you can vote. And please, we'd love to have you do this. We're now up to the point in the candy making where we break up the candies and we drop them. And this is why these candies are called cough drops. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to try this candy yourself, you can go to www.pd.net and order it there. And of course, the candy looks great. So check it out for yourself. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. If you click the bell, you'll find out when we come out with a new video, and we'd appreciate that too. And of course, when this is all over, you can come and visit us in Tallahassee, where our store is, and you can, if you're lucky, see us make candy. Right now, we're sort of making it just for ourselves and for you out there on the net because we can't really have visitors the way we used to. But we will again, and we look forward to that day. So thank you for watching.